PyCharm is the Python IDE for professional developers, uh, which is very popular in Python community. Uh, it comes from JetBrains, which is, has a lot of tools and also another um, technologies. So in that case, in this tutorial, I'm going to use PyCharm to configure it um, in order to use in a, in a Django project. So I will download the community edition. Also, this tutorial works with professional edition, so you can choose uh, whatever you want to. After you download it, application um, should ask some permissions. Actually, uh, regarding that I already had one previous version, so I will replace it with a new one. Okay, so uh, I'm going to execute it, uh, open it. I already had some projects, so I will open an, an existing one. Uh, let's choose this one. Uh, open. And I will choose a different one. Uh, I used code folder. For store my old projects. So I open um, this project and I will configure uh, first the interpreter. So I will go to the preferences, Python interpreter, and I will choose what well, I'm going to choose an existing one. You can also add if you had a previous environment. So if you need um, more help, with, with this configuration, uh, I can make another video. So when I um, choose the interpreter, all the packages installed in it will be available for the entire project. And that's why uh, I am, that's all I, that I need to run it. Uh, so I need to configure the proper execution. So I will add a new configuration file uh, it will call run server the script path will be the manage.py folder that every Django project has in the parameters I will choose the run server one and also um, I use an, an environment variable to separate my settings files. So I'm going to use it, um, the Django settings module variable. And the value will be my events is the name of the project dot settings dot local. This is an optional. Uh, configuration. If you don't have have it, um, you you don't need it. Then I will choose the emulate terminal. It's the common choice. You can also choose the run with Python console, but it's not so common. So, so you need to choose the the emulation terminal. So that's it. Uh, it's working. I had these meshes is because I didn't execute the make migrations or migrate or create um, a super user. So if I go to load the, the server, the, I'm going to have an error regarding database. So I need to fix it. I will add a new configuration file. Now, for the make migrations command. So, stop it. 
By the way, you can also run debug and all the features for debugging uh, are available. So that's really great. You can use break breakpoints. Um, well, uh, let's continue with make migrations. So I will add a new one in Python. Uh, this one is make migrations. The script path is the same, manage.py. Parameters is make migrations. Environment variables, uh, the same one, Django settings module, and my local file for that settings. Project name, dot settings, dot local. After that, um, I will choose run Python console, just to look at, or just to show you uh, what is the output? So I put OK and execute it. All right, no changes. So that's why you don't you don't have any new migrations. So that's good. And also I need uh, migrate all these files. So I will add a new configuration for migrate the changes. Make migrations is the first command, then you need to run migrate. So again, new configuration, Python, uh, manage.py. The parameter right now is migrate. The variable is the same. Django settings module and value my events.settings.local. All right, so um, I will also choose the run Python console. Oh, I forgot the, the name. Uh, I need to change it instead manage migrate. Okay. Um, run and that's it this output show me that all the tables are uh, deployed in the local data database SQLite for uh, for this project all right so um, also I can add an additional one for uh, an admin user it's the super user, create super user is the command. So same file, manage.py, create super user. This is the, that's the command that has, that has um, admin privilege. So the same um, environment variable with the same value than the other ones. Okay, um, also Python console. Um, again, uh, the name. So, data configurations and create super user. So, as you can see, uh, Python console executing this one is not going to work because the commands needs an a ter terminal to run it. So that's why it's not working. So I need to change it to emulate terminal. And now the command works. It asks for the email. I will put Sergio at email.com and some password. Just Sergio. All right, so the super user is working. I can run server again, and I don't have the message. Uh, I will load the admin page using the credentials, and it's working. This is the administration panel with this 
uh, models, views, and everything. All right. Um, so you can also add uh, for other comments like test. Same file, manage.py, test, the parameters, or the parameter, uh, just the one is test, the same environment variable, not the other one. And also in this case, I will use the emulation of terminal, just to avoid any any problem. All right. Zero test, no problems. So for, for this case, I don't have tests uh, already uh, created because it's a project in the in, in the in the phase of development. All right. Um, also, you can add, an, for example, a script. Uh, in that case, I will use this one, which is just a simple script to execute the flake eight. It's a it's a tool to make some code um, code review. And well, uh, the output is zero, so it means no errors. Let me force some error. Uh, so maybe I will open the manage.py file. Um, so error here, um, we can delete the last uh, the last line. In Python, um, the recommendation is to have the, the last line as an empty. So it, it, it says that I need new line. So it's, it's working there the curve view and zero again so it's working that's fine okay so um other other configuration that i can can use here is to concatenate for example yeah if i had this run server before that i can execute make migrations and also i can execute migrate to set or to see to come to to validate if I had some changes and then apply it to the database. Um, so the problem with that is I had the, the console the Python console input, so that's why it's not working. So I'm going to change it. I will load the configuration and choose the M8. Okay, everything is with emulate. All right, so run server again, and that's working. Make migrations, migrate, and run server. That's fine. And also, I can, uh, here, I can um, test in a in different way, for example. For um, test, maybe uh, I need for, uh, for example, for create super user, make migrations and migrate, mm -hmm. uh, similar as the other one. But here we test. I can also add my migrations and also migrate. And it's going to work as well. As you can see, I can um, perform in a better way this configuration. I know that migrate needs make migrations first. So the the key here will be just to have one previous configuration to do in the serial way. So for example, 
uh, let's go with migrate migrate run make migrations then after that migrate can execute it test before run server and migrate before test and run server bef uh, and test before run server and that's a, a, a good flow make migrations migrate test and run server and it's working okay so um, I hope this helped you in order to understand PyCharm and also how to configure uh, a Django project with it um, give your comments if you have to subscribe activate the notifications and well uh, thank you for watching this uh, next uh, see you in the next video happy coding <laughs>